Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a chatty get ready with me on this makeup look and I'm going to be talking to you guys today about my recent trip to LA. This video is definitely going to be a longer one so and it is very very chatty so if you're not into that you might not want to watch this but if you don't mind it being super chatty and hearing about my trip then just keep on watching and we're going to go ahead and get into the video. So I'm going to be using some new stuff that I picked up at the Sephora via B Rouge sale and some other things that got sent to me in PR and also that I picked up on my trip to California, which I didn't really get that much stuff in PR or for my trip to California, but I did get a few things. So first I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and I'm going to use my Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Like over my vacation I wasn't using this, I was using my Revlon Colorstay and I kind of missed it. I used it for the first time yesterday um, since my trip and I just loved it. So I want to I use that again today and I'm just going to apply this with my dampened Wet n Well makeup sponge. And I tried to fix my hair a little different today. I know whenever I was on my trip to California, I used like my new me curling wand and made my hair like really curly and cute. But seriously, like I was telling you guys on Instagram, I'm trying to move some of this stuff out of the way because I'm going to move my mirror closer to me. But like I was telling you guys on Instagram, like on my Instagram stories, like that literally takes me like an hour to make my hair look that good. My natural hair is just so ultra straight and ultra fine. It's hard to get it to do anything but just be straight. But it's like sometimes I want to do my hair different. I want it to have some like body and volume because it doesn't have much of that by itself. So... I used like my clip curling wand today, but like seriously, probably by the time this video is filmed, my hair will be almost straight again. <laughs> I tried to put some hairspray in it, so hopefully that will help. And then I'm just taking the end that's like more flat and pointed and using that to blend the foundation over my nose. For my concealer, I'm going to be using this new concealer today. I used it for the first time yesterday. I picked this up at the Sephora Via B sale or Via B Rouge. This is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Full Coverage Concealer Fluid. And a while back, I asked you all like what illuminating concealers you would recommend for me to get. And this was one of the concealers you guys recommended to me. So I wanted to pick this up at the cell and test it out, which yesterday I applied it kind of with my finger. And I feel like this concealer is more of like a kind of a thicker consistency. Like I feel like it needs like the warmth of your finger to kind of get it to blend. Um, but I'll try to use it with my sponge. But I, but like I said, I used it yesterday and I thought it looked so beautiful all day long. I did set it with the powder, but I didn't really have any issues with it creasing or anything. And it did illuminate my under eye area. This concealer is a little bit more on the yellow side than it is pink, but it's not too yellow. I was a little bit afraid that it was going to be a little too yellow for me, but it's definitely not. We had a direct flight from Louisville over to LA so that was good we didn't have any layovers or anything like that and like I said the first day that we got down there it was really pretty out so kind of just enjoyed like laying out by the pool um, and just kind of relaxing for a little bit and then we went and got lunch at this place called uh, Mallow and Olive which was kind of like our favorite place while we were staying there because it was close to our Airbnb like in walking distance and they just had like a good variety of food, like brick oven pizzas and pasta. And they had good like uh, beer and like wine and good coffee drinks. Like they just had a lot of really good food at that place. And it wasn't like a very big restaurant. It was kind of just like a little sort of hole in the wall kind of place. But it was so nice and I don't know, it was really good. So that was probably like our favorite place. And then the first night when we were there, um, my cousin and her fiance, well, her husband now, he is like a member of their magic 
kind of society, like the magic castle. I don't know exactly what the term is for everything, um, but basically it's like a magic club. It sounds like super kind of nerdy. It was actually really cool. So the only people, I'm sorry, I'm gonna like tweeze out some brow hairs. I have some like little stray ones over here, but it's kind of like a private club that you have to have know somebody that's a member or something like that to be able to get into this club. And it was like super like private and like hush hush like you couldn't take any pictures in there or film but it was super cool you got to see like magicians doing like different card tricks and performing like different kind of magic acts which some of it is just like I know it's you know illusions or like slot of hand type of things but some of the stuff you're like how are they doing that? But yeah, I guess it was like a magician's like society and the place was called Magic Castle. So it was really cool. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then the next day we just kind of chilled for a little bit and went around Santa Monica, kind of explored. We went to the Santa Monica Pier. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set my foundation and I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury the Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder Under Eye and Face. And I wanted to get this because one of makeup, my friend April here on YouTube, and well, she's just my friend all around on YouTube in real life, um, but she raves about this powder all the time. It's like an illuminating setting powder. And you guys know I'm all about that glow. And so I've been wanting to get this, but I wanted to wait until the sale so I could get it at a good price. Um, cause this powder is like $45, which I know it's expensive, but I used it yesterday and I absolutely loved it. I want to compare it to the Flower Beauty, their, uh, Miracle Glow Satin Finish Powder and see if that is a good dupe to this powder. Um, I feel like when I used this powder yesterday, I liked it better than the flower powder, which I mean, I better since it's a $40, like $45 powder. I'll have to kind of test them, like maybe use one on one side of my face, one on the other and see, you know, how they wear, what they look like and all that good stuff. So I can like let you guys know, is this a good dupe for it? If you don't want to pay the Charlotte Tilbury price, but want a powder that's gonna be that way, um, that's gonna be, you know, dewy and everything. And then I did use some of this powder yesterday to set my under eye concealer, and I felt like it looked really nice, so I'm gonna use some more of that today. But I felt like it did give my foundation a really pretty glow. But it could have also been because I'm using this Flower Beauty foundation and it also has like, it's a illuminating foundation. So it may have been hard to tell. So I'll have to test this powder out again with like my Revlon Color Stay or something like that to see, you know, how it works with foundation that's matte. But I just think it looks so pretty on the skin. Hopefully this lighting is okay. I feel like it's just going to be so bright. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. And I ended up picking up this, the Great Brow Basics from Benefits. And this was like the same price or it might have been just a little bit more expensive than just like the Gimme Brow by itself. And it comes with like full size products in here. Um, I ended up getting this in shade 3 and it comes with the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, precisely my brow in the goof proof and I used precisely my brow yesterday and I did really enjoy that I think I might use goof proof today just to see how I like that so I'm just gonna comb through my eyebrows but yeah like I was saying we went to the Santa Monica Pier which like that day it was so like cold because we kind of went in the morning and we had to stop at like one of the places that kind of sold like souvenirs and stuff as you got closer to the pier and I ended up getting like a hoodie because I was freezing <laughs> and um yeah I just wasn't prepared for it to be I think it I think it's because that day it was kind of overcast and it was windy um so yeah we did that walked around Santa Monica 
Um, I feel like we got lunch or breakfast. I think that day we got breakfast at this place. It's called um, Blue Daisy, which my friend that used to live out in California around that area, she told us about that place and she was like, oh, you definitely need to like stop in there and try it. And it was so, so good. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my old, like my Benefit Gimme Brow that I already have opened because I still have stuff in this. So, to set my brows in place. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup since we're zoomed out and everything before I do my eyes. And I didn't pick up like a new bronzer or anything like that. So, I think, I'm gonna figure out what I wanna use. I think I might use my butter bronzer because it's been a minute since I have used this from Physicians Formula. And across the street, they're cutting the grass, so hopefully that's not too loud and distracting. Um, I'm just gonna use my Morphe M530 brush at first to blend this around my cheeks on my cheekbone area um, but then Friday night we went to this place it was called Casa Sanchez I think it was a Mexican restaurant and it was so cool because they did um, like they had like a mariachi band there that like sang and then they had this couple that danced and did like a couple of different like outfit changes and different dances and they you know were playing different musical instruments and singing it was just really cool and i thought about vlogging while i was on my trip but i don't know i just didn't feel into vlogging whenever i was there like i just wanted to enjoy everything and just kind of relax and take a break um so if you guys want to see more like with my vacation i did I guess kind of vlog but not really on my Instagram stories like I did like little video clips of stuff and pictures and things so if you want to check that out I'll have my Instagram link down below and I saved it in like my in your profile how you can have like stories like highlighted I have it highlighted there and it just says uh, my trip to LA or something like that so I will have that link down below so you guys can check that out if you're curious, you know, to see more things <laughs> or to like see the mariachi band and stuff like that because I did film some of that. So that was super cool. The food was so good and that was just like a really cool experience. So, and it was fun just like getting to hang out with my cousin and the family and her friends and everything. So that was nice. For my blush, I'm going to go in with my Morphe Warm Master Warm palette and I'm going to use this shade in Sweet for my blush. And then on Saturday, she in, she got married on Sunday, so like on Saturday for lunch, she kind of did like a little meet and greet, um like another not really dinner, but just kind of like lunch thing. And that was at this place called Locale 90. I think it was by the beach and it was really nice. Um, and of course they had brick oven pizzas again. I felt like we had so much like brick oven pizzas while we were on this trip. So it's like you go to California and you think like, oh, they have healthy foods and stuff, which they do. But I feel like we did not eat the healthiest while we were there, um, which, you know, I didn't really plan on eating like extremely healthy while we were there. I just was going to eat whatever, you know, we were going to have, like just try different food while we were there. So that was super fun and then that evening we ended up just chilling at the Airbnb and our Airbnb she had like a patio area that had a pool and she had a gas fire pit so that was super cool to get to use while we were down there and there were other couples staying because she has like three different little I guess studio like kind of apartment type things on her property but we never saw any of the other people really they didn't come out on the patio or anything like that so i'm just going to use my flower beauty highlighting palette this is in the shade sp1 and i'm going to use 
I might try this one today because I haven't used that yet, the gold one, since I have this yellow on that might look kind of pretty. Yeah, I like that. I think that might actually look a little better on me once I get a little bit more of a tan because I feel like it's borderline almost a little too golden. So I might mix a little bit of the nude one with that color. So yeah, that was just a fun night. We got to chill and then the lady that owned our Airbnb, she had a little beagle and his name was Biscuit and he was so cute. So he kind of just chilled with us that night um, around the fire pit. So that was fun. And then the next day was the wedding. So we kind of just, once again, just went and got breakfast in the morning. And we went to this place called Blue something. <laughs> I feel like everything was called blue down there that we went to. Um, blue Jam, I think that's what the place was called. And that place was pretty good too. They had this French toast dish that was so good. Like this cr crunchy French toast with fruit on top. Oh my gosh. And they had like this cream sort of sauce that went with it. it was so good. I got some sort of like eggs benedict, which Josh tried some of it. And he said that his, because he had gotten like an eggs benedict dish at that blue daisy place. Like the day or two before and he said that that dish was better than the one that I had but I thought it was good so his must have been like amazing so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in to do the eyes here in a minute and I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my Catrice eyeshadow primer um, but then in the afternoon was her wedding and she got married at Topanga Canyon and it was so, so beautiful. I swear, it had to have been like one of the prettiest weddings I've ever been to. And I'm not just saying that because she's my cousin, but it was so beautiful there. And yeah, it was just so much fun. So she got married outside and it was just perfect. She had like a harp player and I don't know, it was just so beautiful. And then we ate outside and there was just a lot of really pretty flowers around and she had everything decorated so nice and she had like a taco bar um and then we went inside they had like this little area where they had a dance floor and stuff like that so then we went and danced the rest of the night so that was so much fun um now i think for my eyes which i might turn this up because i feel like when i zoomed in things got darker um, I'm going to do a look that I did on this trip that I really, really liked and it's like my new favorite look right now. So first I'm going to use my bronzer in my crease and I'm going to get some of the other products because I put them away. For my crease bronzer, I'm going to actually use my Milani um, Silky Matte Bronzer in Sunkissed because this was what I had used in my crease and I really like this as like a transition color because it's matte and it's not too cool toned, it's not too warm toned. It does make for like a good transition color. I'm just using my Profusion brush that came in my prof one of my Profusion eyeshadow palettes. So just whatever blending brush you have, just blend your bronzer in your crease. And then the next day was like our last day there in California and we had a red eye flight back home. <laughs> so we basically had all day Monday to like hang out and stuff. So we ended up getting breakfast again at that Milo and Olive place. Like we really liked that. They had this really awesome bre breakfast pizza and like their coffees there were just so good. So we went there and then after that, we went to one of the beaches there that was close to the airport. Um, for my eyelid, I'm first gonna go in with the Maybelline Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze. This is just gonna go on the lid first. I've really been getting back into this color tattoo as like a eyeshadow base. 
because I know <laughs> in my other get ready with me tutorial I used this but it's just such a pretty taupe bronze and it really does help to like enhance your eyeshadows and keep them lasting all day so yeah and while we were at the beach like it really wasn't that sunny it was overcast once again and it was windy so it wasn't super warm but we got to see some dolphins which i thought was so cool and then for my lid shade i'm gonna go with this color here this is from the makeup revolution fortune favors the brave palette and this palette has like been through it <laughs> after that trip because like you guys saw in my last get ready with me that palette the lid broke off of it and then it's like it's just been falling apart ever since so I don't know I really like that palette but I feel like I might have to order a new one because that one is just falling apart so I'm just using the opposite end of that profusion brush and I'm just applying that all over where I put that Maybelline color tattoo. And then after we were done at the beach, we went to a mall that was close by and I cannot remember the name of the mall. So I'll have to just put it in the video. Um, but we basically just chilled there for the rest of the time until I got close to our flight and then we went to the airport. But I swear that was like the longest day ever because our flight didn't leave until like 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and we didn't make it home until 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so it was exhausting and then I'm gonna go in with this I ended up picking this up on the trip at a Ulta and this is one of the Essence Melted Chrome eyeshadows in the color Iconic yeah ironic yeah ironic and it's a really pretty bronze taupe it's very shimmery and i like to put this just right in the center of my eyelid it just adds a nice sparkle of color and i'm going to use my wet and wild small concealer brush to apply a little bit more precise it's like with my fingers it's always hard to apply because my eyes are deep set and then I have my nails so but yeah I just loved this look because it looks pretty um, but at the same time it's more natural so I really enjoyed this makeup look on the trip I wore this I think a couple of times like during the day I picked this up at the Sephora via B Rouge sale this is the Anastasia dewy set setting spray and I wanted to get this because as you guys know I like all the dewy type of products and I just wanted to see how this worked um, sometimes I do like Anastasia's products other times I feel like they're a little overpriced and you can get you know other options that are kind of similar to what she has um, but yeah I thought the packaging was really cute on this it's like the exact same kind of packaging as like Mac fix plus so I'm just gonna miss my face which I do like the mister on that like it does spray it out really evenly just like the MAC fix plus and it smelled really nice like it kind of had like a beachy smell the packaging is adorable on this though with the glitter and everything I don't know I just think it's really cute so depending on how this works will depend on if I will buy it again I mean it wasn't like crazy crazy expensive I want to say it was like $25 for this which I know is expensive for what it is but if I like it just as much as the VDL primer because the VDL is like a little difficult to get because you have to order it off of VDL's website I might just end up sticking with the Anastasia one just because it'll be more easily accessible but yeah after spraying that setting spray like I feel like extra dewy now I don't know if you guys can tell um, so now I'm just going to go back and recurl my lashes and apply my mascara. For my mascara, I think I'm going to use my Grande Mascara today. I took my Grande Lash MD with me on the trip, but I felt like I wasn't as, like, consistent with applying it. I don't know. I just felt like some nights I was just, like, so tired. 
and I just like would forget to use it. We definitely had a fun time on our trip and I would definitely like to go back out to LA, Santa Monica again. Um, just so I can do some other things and I also was going to meet up with one of my other friends. Um, her name is Tara Michelle and she has a YouTube channel. She doesn't post as much as she used to on YouTube. She's kind of more on Instagram now. Um, but while I was out there, I was going to visit with her, but it just didn't really work out. Um, you know, she has kids and a husband and everything so it's not as easy for her to just like drop everything um, but yeah maybe next time when I go out there I can meet up with her and maybe next time when I go out there I can actually vlog but like I said I just wanted to kind of take things a little bit more easy and just relax while I was out there I don't know but like see I already feel like my hair doesn't look near as like curled as it was when I first started the video but maybe that's just me um, okay, so the last thing is the lips, and I'm going to go ahead and take this foundation off my lips. And I might adjust the lighting because once again, I feel like it's kind of bright. Okay, I have several different like new lip products. Wet n Wild sent me a PR package of their Crystal Cavern. I think that's what it's called. I called it Crystal Clear in my other video. Um, but these two lip glosses here are so pretty. This one is in Rose Quartz, and then this one is in Amethyst. Um, I think if I use one of these, it's going to be Ame or Rose Quartz, but I don't really know if I want to use this today, but I'll just swatch these so you guys can see what they look like swatched. So that is Rose Quartz there. It has like little pink kind of sparkles in it. And then the amethyst has like purple and blue, almost like a, well, I guess it's more, it's kind of like a purple base with like blue glitters in it, which sounds kind of scary, but actually looks really pretty on the lips. Now the other two glosses that they had, they have like one that's like white with like blue sparkles and one that's like white with green. I really wouldn't recommend those unless you want color on your lips because your lips do tend to look blue or green whenever you use those glosses. Then I have two other new glosses. I ended up picking up the Fenty Beauty in Diamond Milk. Diamond Milk. <laughs> Diamond Milk. This is her gloss balm. And this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. Um, I really, really like this gloss. So I was kind of thinking might wear that. Like it really gives your lips just like that um, like wet kind of look. And then I ended up picking up this flower, um, I don't know what this is called, Petal Pout Lip Mask in Lucky, which is kind of like diamond milk but gold. And it might not be quite as like glittery as the diamond milk, but I think I might use this today, the Flower Beauty one, since I have like yellow on and everything. So I'm not even going to line my lips. I'm just going to apply this. And I ended up picking this up at um, that Ulta that was down in Santa Monica. But yeah, I mean, this is kind of like the Fenty Beauty, but it's not as like glittery. Like I might add just a little bit of diamond milk so you guys can see. Like it's just beautiful. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this chatty get ready with me and enjoyed hearing about my trip to LA, to LA, Santa Monica area. Like I said, we had such a great time. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.